Hello everyone, NASA released the first images taken by the James Webb Space Telescope on July 12, 2022. This was a significant event in itself, but detailed analyses revealed something even more extraordinary. The James Webb captured an object resembling a Dyson sphere, which could have been destroyed by an alien civilization hundreds of light years away from Earth. Whether or not you believe this discovery is real, we must accept that we all want to hear news like this from a telescope. Moreover, the web is expected to be the first device in the history of modern astronomy to capture the most mysterious celestial bodies we have never seen before very soon. So, what exactly are these celestial bodies? In today's video, we will also explain how a newly developed telescope can revolutionize what we know about space. Let's get started. Thanks to the Hubble telescope, we know that our universe is 13.77 billion years old. In addition, the Spitzer Space Telescope has discovered some of the oldest stars. To date, these two telescopes have been the most powerful infrared devices of NASA, but they had to retire after service. However, James Webb did not just replace its colleague. It has been developed in collaboration with NASA, European and Canadian space agencies for 25 years, and they have spent $10 billion for unprecedented technologies. Unlike Spitzer and Hubble, Webb perfectly detects near-infrared and mid-infrared wavelengths that the human eye cannot see. So much so, James Webb proved its superpower by providing new images of the Southern Ring Planetary Nebula. The image on the left was taken by an instrument called NCAM, capable of capturing infrared radiation at the shortest wavelength. This device allowed us to obtain images through ionized gas clouds surrounding a dying star. The photo on the right was taken by MIRI, a camera and a spectrometer, which can capture clear images of gas and dust shells. Later, NASA experts made adjustments to obtain natural color tones in these images. Now, look at this photo of the nebula taken by Hubble. Do you see the difference? When you look at these photos of the Carina Nebula, you will see why Webb is a step ahead. What you are seeing is actually a combined image of NC and MIRI. Take a closer look, do you see the hexagonal shape? This shape results from the hexagonal shape of the main mirror of the Webb telescope. So much so, the telescope consists of 18 hexagonal blocks, each about 1.5 meters in diameter, and the total surface area of the mirror reaches 25 square meters. Yes, this is a historical record. On the other hand, Hubble's mirror is five times smaller which inevitably affects the quality and detail ratio of the images. However, another advantage that makes Webb seen as a state-of-the-art telescope is its ability to photograph these extremely distant galaxies in just 12.5 hours, producing a brighter and clearer image, compared to Hubble's 10 days for the same task. The reason for this is that, unlike Hubble, this device rotates in the orbit of the Sun, near the second Lagrange point or simply L2, rather than the Earth so its cameras can even see very dim light. However, there is a problem. When we look at the universe through the telescope, we see that things glowing in the infrared include the Earth as well. This is caused by the ordinary thermal radiation of Webb's own equipment. Well, the engineers knew this, of course, and equipped James Webb with a giant sunshield of 21 by 14 meters. To give you a comparison, 20 cars can fit into a parking lot of this size. However, since the shield is made of a thin layer of aluminum coating and five layers of cap, it would be good to test it. This material protects the primary mirror and other instruments from heat and cosmic radiation. The innovative thermal control system cools down the main parts of James Webb to as low as minus 223 degrees Celsius. This technology had never been attached to space telescopes before. We are sure that you missed an important detail in the photo of the Southern Ring Nebula taken by Webb. This nebula is located 2500 light years away from Earth, which means we are seeing it as it was 2500 years ago. However, there is an even older and distant object hidden in the picture. Can you see this thin line? It is definitely not a camera error. In fact, Webb has accidentally discovered a distant galaxy that we have never heard of before. This galaxy had been hidden behind the Southern Ring Nebula for all this time. Currently, astronomers are trying to calculate the distance of this new galaxy, and the result is likely to be in the millions of light-years. 
although it may not seem significant on a cosmic scale, this distance is quite important for our view of the past. In 2011, Hubble took a photo of one of the oldest galaxies located 13.4 billion light-years away, showing us the universe just 380 million years after the Big Bang. In the first months of Webb's mission, it managed to find something even older. In July 2022, scientists were examining new photos and detected a galaxy named Glass Z13. This galaxy appeared to be 13.5 billion years old. However, Webb was just warming up, diving 100 million years deeper than what Hubble could achieve at its peak. When Webb starts operating at its full potential, they expect to see a new universe filled with very young galaxies ranging from 1 to 250 million years old. The chemistries and even the shapes of these galaxies could forever change our ideas about the early universe. Of course, we are not just interested in old galaxies, we also need to know everything about the space between them. According to the Big Bang Theory, our universe has been expanding uncontrollably since the moment of its birth. This theory suggests that stars and galaxies not bound by gravity are moving away from each other every second. If we find the exact rate of this expansion, we will be able to predict not only the past of our world but also its future. So, will we have our own universal time machine? Well, to make our dreams come true, Webb first needs to solve the biggest cosmological disagreement. Firstly, the speed of the universe's expansion is called the Hubble constant. The unit of speed is kilometers per second per megaparsec. Astrophysicists have found several ways to calculate this, but the problem starts here. The results obtained by different scientific teams do not match. The first team determined the expansion rate based on the cosmic microwave background, which is the radiation remaining from the days when our universe was approximately 380,000 years old. This way, the first team stated that the universe is expanding at a speed of 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The second team, on the other hand, examined the universe in its current, adult state. To be precise, they monitored how the brightness of well-known stars millions of light years away changed over time. Likewise, the expansion speed of the universe, determined with the help of stars, is equal to 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. So, there is a difference. And no one has been able to explain it so far. So, can James Webb determine which of the research groups is right? Unfortunately, the brightness levels that the first team's cosmic microwave background can catch are not sufficient for Webb to detect even the slightest change. In 2022, astronomers with the help of Hubble rechecked the results obtained by the second team twice. They concluded that Megab alone is moving at a speed of 73 km per second, yet there was still a discrepancy. On the other hand, the James Webb Space Telescope Webb, is quite capable of closing this critical gap. Since Hubble will be in operation until 2030, it will assist Webb in creating an incredibly complex 3D model of the observable universe. Nevertheless, the latest news from NASA does not mention why the James Webb Space Telescope was really sent into space. Perhaps the new device will manage to solve the biggest mystery of modern astronomy. Of course, this mystery is related to the invisible and omnipresent matter that fills the entire volume of space. Astrophysicists have long known that some galaxies act as if they have much larger masses than even infrared telescopes can see. This missing invisible mass has been named dark matter. According to the most realistic modern evaluations, this matter has a mass six times greater than the total of all stars, planets, and cosmic dust. The well-researched gravitational lensing effect will be useful for Webb to help find dark matter. This effect occurs when the gravitational field of a large object bends the light moving towards it. In fact, we can see one of these in the very center of one of the first photos taken by Webb. Unlike Hubble, James Webb can detect even the farthest objects, and since the device will notice much more distant galaxies, we will have a chance to see even the smallest gravitational lenses. Physicists Matthew Walker and Anna Nirenberg believe that this will be a turning point for science and will reshape our understanding of dark matter. Currently, the widely accepted theory can only explain how galaxies formed and why they spin so fast by invoking slow, heavy dark matter particles. They are absolutely sure that even our Milky Way has a gigantic halo of invisible dark matter. 
However, if that is the case, there must also be small dark clusters without a single star scattered throughout space, and this is a great time for Webb to step in. Hubble has already succeeded in detecting small halos around dwarf galaxies that are 10 to 100,000 times lighter than a Milky Way. With the help of Webb, Anna Nirenberg hopes to find the same objects in dwarf galaxies. Meanwhile, Matthew Walker is determined to detect extremely small dark matter clusters with a mass of only 100 solar masses. Objects like these should occasionally disturb the orbits of stars in binary systems, this could not be otherwise. Nothing can prevent James Webb from seeing all these oddities of cold dark matter. However, this is a dangerous game because if the telescope cannot find any sign that these small clusters really exist, we will have no choice but to throw all our theories about the modern universe into the trash bin. On second thought, maybe the other dark matter hypothesis could save the situation. It assumes that primordial black holes could appear in high-density space areas less than a second after the Big Bang. These prehistoric entities could survive unnoticed to this day, and such a black hole could be as light as a dust particle or, with equal probability, as heavy as an entire galaxy. In the early 70s, Stephen Hawking proposed that dark matter could partially consist of these primitive black holes. Even though the web is extremely advanced, it may have trouble finding such objects on its own. In 2034, NASA plans to launch the space antenna LISA, which will detect the smallest ripples that massive objects can cause as they move. Then, LISA will send its notes to the web. Going back to Stephen Hawking, this scientist is known for an idea even more important than his theory on primordial black holes. Telescopes like James Webb will confirm that old beliefs about Earth being the center of the universe are completely gone. Will the data collected by Webb validate speculations about other unknown worlds? First of all, remember that we are talking about other universes similar to ours. In 2018, the scientific world's attention turned to Stephen Hawking's last paper, A Smooth Exit from Eternal Inflation, co-written with Thomas Hartog. Of course, this paper was about cosmic inflation in the early universe, not about a sudden increase in prices. According to the theory, a regular Big Bang spread equally in all directions. However, our universe began to expand exponentially right after the Big Bang. In a few seconds, a region transformed from the size of an atom to infinite space. The problem is that, according to the universal inflation theory proposed in the 80s, similar sudden expansions are still happening in different regions of the universe. This could actually serve as a reasonable explanation for the huge discrepancy between expansion rates calculated by two different scientific teams. However, it completely contradicts the rest of cosmology. Stephen Hawking and Thomas Hartog argued in their paper that cosmic inflation would not last forever, debunking this theory. As a result, if there are other universes, there aren't many of them, and the laws of physics aren't as strange as they could be in an infinite multiverse. In rough terms, you could have a different job in a parallel world, but your identity would be the same. The most amazing thing is that scientists have found a way to test Hawking's multiverse theory. They equipped a spacecraft with a special detector, which could find evidence of other universes in the microwave background left over from the Big Bang. However, remember that this wavelength is not something that Webb can detect. Although our beloved Webb can't do anything about this, there is no need for legendary parallel universes to see these fantastic worlds. In our own galaxy, more than 5,000 exoplanets have been discovered by 2022, and there are more than 2,000 potential exoplanet candidates. However, life is not expected on these planets, so scientists continue searching for habitable worlds. The crucial point here is that if any living organism exists on the surface of a planet, it will definitely leave behind typical atmospheric biosignatures. First of all, these are molecules of water, ammonia, and methane, but the most important sign is the presence of chlorophyll. This pigment gives plants their green color and is vital for photosynthesis. Chlorophyll absorbs visible light and is perfectly visible in infrared, meaning that if we catch a spectral anomaly from an exoplanet, it could mean that plants are growing on its surface. The abundance of phosphine gas molecules could indicate bacteria that can survive without oxygen. Lately, astronomers have emphasized the need for further research to better understand the origins of phosphine in the clouds of Venus. 
However, it's important to mention that even the most powerful ground-based telescopes cannot detect any of these biosignatures on other planets. The devices are obstructed by Earth's atmosphere, rendering the Hubble practically useless in this context. On the contrary, the Webb can observe a spectrum 10 times wider in the infrared range and has the potential to discover any biosignatures on exoplanets. As a result, the dream of astronomers is to discover a highly advanced civilization with unique signals. On the other hand, if aliens were to search for us, they could potentially find us due to the high concentrations of carbon dioxide, monoxide, ozone, and lead in our planet's atmosphere. However, we might witness such an incredible discovery even before James Webb adds more to the history of astronomy. Remember the mysterious image we showed at the beginning of the video? One of our old telescopes sees an exoplanet near a distant star like this. The scientific community was very excited even to have this barely visible point because Webb will not only allow us to obtain clear optical images of exoplanets but also enable us to have something extraordinary. Can you see this blue object? This is not a Dyson sphere. It appears like this in Webb's photos. This object is an exomoon, and the fact that astronomers have never been able to find a moon near an exoplanet before makes this discovery extremely significant. However, the driving factor in the research was not just pure curiosity. This exomoon orbiting gas giants could potentially be even larger than Earth, making them a perfect cradle for potential extraterrestrial life. Furthermore, if there are about 1 billion terrestrial planets in the Milky Way, there could be many more exomoons like this. In short, we are closer than ever to discovering at least a primitive form of life on another world, and this is one of the most invaluable gifts Webb has given to humanity. Perhaps this telescope is even the best investment ever made. Taking into account the unexpected discoveries made by the telescope, we might assume that Webb has already discovered a habitable world, or perhaps scientists will process the images and we will learn this fact. But what if NASA experts have already found something incredible in these images and continue to hide it from the public? When the news about the first images from James Webb was conveyed, the news about the development of a new project by the space agency remained in the shadows. NASA is initiating a mission for a more advanced telescope named LIR, costing approximately $10 billion to build Webb. However, this time the scientists have formulated an incredible spending plan, the preliminary cost of this device is estimated to be $18 billion. LIR is scheduled to be launched by 2030, and it is very clear that this is a super-fast project. So, what is the reason for this haste, and why is so much money being spent? NASA announced that LIR will be equipped with an extremely sensitive special coronagraph called Eclipse, which will block the starlight distorting the images into hexagonal patterns by Webb. Moreover, LIR will have a brand new feature called multi-object spectroscopy. As a result, LIR will be able to detect indicators of extraterrestrial life in the atmospheres of several exoplanets orbiting sun-like stars. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? But what if surprising things are discovered in the new images from Webb, and NASA decides not to share this new information? The agency is not only certain that we are not alone in the universe but also suspects that we may have many neighbors. What kind of discoveries do you think James Webb will have made when it returns from its 20-year mission? You can share your ideas and theories with us in the comments section. See you in the next video, take care.